Today is Tuesday, the 29th of November. Tuesday in the first week of Advent. Hello everyone. Welcome to these Advent Reflections. Our overriding theme is, as you may recall, See, I make all things new. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our scripture reading is taken from the prophet Zechariah, chapter 14, verses 5 and 7. Behold, the Lord will come, and all his holy ones with him. And on that day there will be a great light. Dear friends, our little scripture passage starts, Behold, our theme is See, I make all things new. Today, we will encounter many different people and have different experiences. Are we able to see the Lord at work in these people, in these experiences? Are we able to see God working with us, God walking with us, God present to us? in the people and the situations that we encounter. Sometimes it's really hard to do that. Sometimes God is masked, hidden. But that doesn't mean he is not present, that he is not with us. We've got to give time and energy to seeing him to recognizing his face in the faces of others, his action in the experiences we face. The face of the poor is the face of Jesus. The face of the downtrodden is the face of Jesus. The face of the sad, lonely, rejected, is the face of Jesus. The face of the LGBT community is the face of Jesus. Dear friends, it's easy for us to recognize Jesus and the people we are familiar with. It's much more difficult to recognize him in the face of others. But he is there. He is there. And when we recognize that, it's like a light that goes on in our minds. Jesus is the light. He enlightens all men and all situations, all people. And that light allows us to recognize him, to love him, and to develop a relationship with him. It is the light that helps us to make the journey together. Without that light, we would stumble and fall. Today, as we face all the different challenges and difficulties of this time of year, let us seek the face of Jesus. Let us see him. Let his light guide and direct us today. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials grant us your compassionate help, that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen.